What's up everybody? You don't know, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, CRF. And this is why I speak about my life and experiences as a dialysis patient. So let me take this time because I want to again thank you to all of you for all of your kind comments and your warm words from my last video. If you haven't already checked out my last video, I'll put the link to it in the description of this video so you could go ahead and check it out so thanks again and much love to all of you my family friends viewers and subscribers i truly appreciate each and every one of you so stick around and i'll be right back with this video So guys, if you did not know, almost every dialysis patient faces thyroid or parathyroid problems or disorders. So let me start this video by giving you the definition of a thyroid gland and a parathyroid gland. And I'll also try to incorporate pictures to show you where they are situated or what they look like. So what is a thyroid gland? The thyroid gland is an endocrine gland which is located in your neck. It produces two hormones which are secreted in the blood. Those hormones are necessary for all the cells in your body to work normally. Now, what is a parathyroid gland? The parathyroid gland have four P-shaped organs located in the neck near the thyroid gland which are uh, also responsible for producing hormones. So there you have it, the parathyroid and thyroid gland both are responsible for producing hormones. And I'll show you a diagram right here so you could see what um, exactly where the parathyroid and thyroid gland are located in your neck area. Yeah, so guys, before I continue, let me say that it is necessary that you guys do your own research because what I'm sharing with you here is based on what I know and what I have researched myself and educated myself about. Um, also, I am going to mainly switch the focus of this video towards parathyroid glands because Speaking of myself and my experience and what I went through, it was mainly associated with um, parathyroid disorders. So, shall we continue? So, let's move on to the function of the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland produces parathyroid hormone, which plays a key role in the regulation of calcium levels in the blood. Also, Precise calcium levels are important in a human body since small changes in calcium levels can cause muscle and nerve problems. So, two of the disorders or problems faced with parathyroid glands are hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. So, I am going to focus mainly on hyperthyroidism because in my case that was what I faced but I'm going to go ahead and give you the definition for the both of them. So let's begin with hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is caused when the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone. This condition can also be called on the active thyroid and hyperthyroidism is caused when the thyroid gland produces too much thyroid hormone this condition can also be called overactive thyroid hyperthyroidism speeds up the body metabolism which can cause many symptoms so now let's move into the Symptoms of hyperthyroidism. 
So, some other signs and symptoms associated with hypothyroidism are as follows. Number one, nervousness, anxiety, or crankiness. Number two, mood swings. Number three, sensitivity to heat. Number four, losing weight suddenly or rapidly without trying. And number five, fast or uneven heartbeat more described as a, like a pounding in your chest now there can be more signs and symptoms but as i say already it is necessary that you do your own research to get more information about that now four of the most common symptoms that any or every dialysis patient that has had a case of hyperthyroidism has experienced are uh, weakness in the muscles particularly in the hands and legs like shaky hands and legs and um, also an irregular heartbeat as i mentioned a pounding in the chest and also a rapid loss of weight okay so are there any treatments for hyper or hypothyroidism now in the case of hypothyroidism which is an underproduction of thyroid hormone um, the patient is usually placed on thyroid medications to help the body with the production of thyroid hormones and that's it now in the case of hyperthyroidism the treatment for hyperthyroidism is usually a uh, surgery to remove your thyroid or parathyroid glands whichever of them are faulty because in some cases it might be one parathyroid gland causing all of that fault so the faulty parathyroid gland is usually removed from means of surgery or in some cases um the patient is placed on medication to destroy that thyroid gland but most likely in dominica we undergo surgery to get it removed now in my case i had surgery done to remove my thyroid and parathyroid glands so please stick around for my next video look out for my next video where i will share with you my full experience from the beginning to where I started noticing symptoms of hyperthyroidism on to where I had my thyroid and parathyroid removed through surgery. So please look out for my next video where I will share that full experience with you. Once again, thank you all for your love and support. So I wish you all the best. Please, as I mentioned, it is necessary that you do your own research to educate yourself more about thyroid and parathyroid glands, their functions, symptoms, and the problems associated with them. And don't just take my information for it. Do your own research and pull up as much as you can. Because not only dialysis patients face thyroid or parathyroid problems, also normal human beings undergo those problems as well because i know of a few cases of people who are not on dialysis that had to end up doing a parathyroid or thyroid surgery removal so yes guys thank you all don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and one love to all of you peace out